brain is protecting itself. Can I go home? Where's home? So what are you gonna do, keep a kid you just found? She's all alone. I mean, I couldn't just abandon her. Why do you take all these? I got something called cancer. These are making me better. No, they're not. Do you think that you're afraid of remembering? Do you think I crashed that plane? Emergence premieres Tuesday, September 24th on ABC. What happened to your face? What happened to your face? We're just kidding around! Hey, how about a little bit of quiet time? Stumptown premieres Wednesday, September 25th on ABC. All right, well, that's that. I mean, that's... I want to thank Michelle Obama. I want to thank Lin-Manuel Miranda. Uh, no thanks to that loser, Matt Damon. We ran out of time for him. We are back to work on Monday for our special Red Benefit show with Chris Rock, Bono, Will Ferrell, Kristen Bell, Snoop Dogg, Channing Tatum, Mila Kunis, Pharrell, and maybe even more. Who knows? We'll see you on Monday night. Nightline is next. Thanks for watching. Good night. Steve Harvey hosts an exciting new episode of Celebrity Family Feud tomorrow. A Toledo restaurant owner killed in her home yesterday. Tonight, the community mourns. And after months on the run, an arrest made in connection to the murder of a UT college student. Plus, Toledo Pride taking over downtown all weekend long. A look at the celebrations. Live from Toledo, this is 13 ABC Action News. Police continuing to search for the suspect involved in Toledo's latest homicide. Welcome to Action News at 11. I'm Michaela Marshall. Tonight, we are learning more about the victim who was the owner of a Toledo restaurant. 13 ABC's Mackenzie Keeline has been tracking this story and has the latest. Unbelievable. Customers showed up Saturday stunned to find the restaurant Michiana's on Broadway near Western closed for the day. A black ribbon taped to the front door in memory of the owner, Amelia Guerrero. I can't believe it. I can't believe this happened right now. I love it. They were a really nice person all the time. Friends say the 36-year-old was a wife and mother of three. Friday afternoon, Toledo police were called to her home on Field Avenue. When officers arrived, they found Guerrero stabbed to death. They gave us tortillas and tacos and all kinds of things. Patricia White has lived across the street from the Guerreros for several years. She says she was home Friday when family showed up. Their families were all crying, all of them, even the little kids. When you hear things like this, it just, it, 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 oh, you feel so sad for them. A frequent customer of Guerrero's who asked not to show her face on camera says she doesn't know who would have done this. She was so sweet, so nice. Like, she didn't seem like, she didn't seem like the kind of person who would be mixed with a crowd that would do something like this. Detectives are still investigating what led up to the stabbing. In the meantime, police asking anyone with information to call the Crime Stopper hotline. In Toledo, Mackenzie Keyline, 13 ABC, Action News. Now to a story we first broke to you on Action News at 6. A 16-year-old murder suspect who has been on the run for months is now locked up. He was arrested at Mommy Bay State Park last night. Here's some background on the case. According to Toledo Police, Foster, a UT College student, was shot and killed when he was trying to break up a fight in January. The suspect came out of a house on Talbot and then allegedly fired the fatal shot. Right now, the teen suspect is being held at the Juvenile Justice Center. His name is being withheld due to his age. Stick with 13 ABC as more information becomes available. Following up on a story we broke yesterday on Action News at 5.30. A Toledo man is behind bars accused of robbing the Huntington Bank downtown yesterday afternoon. According to the FBI, the suspect, Jermaine Lucas, walked into the bank and handed the teller a note, took cash, and left. According to court documents, he admitted to police that he robbed the bank. No one was hurt in this incident. Lucas is expected to face the judge Monday morning for the crime. 
Now on to weather. Today was a hot and humid day. We even had a few storms, plus a severe weather threat. 13 minutes of nonstop news continues now with first warning meteorologist Dan Smith. And uh, the strong storms do remain possible over the next 36 hours or so. Earlier tonight, they mostly stayed up here in parts of lower Michigan. You can see just draped all the way across the mitt here. Not so much in northwest Ohio, but we did, of course, get our fair share of some storms earlier today. Now, none of them were technically warned as severe storms, but I was seeing some 60 mile an hour winds being put off by some of these cells. So certainly don't want to uh, 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 underestimate these uh, cells as we're going on through the rest of the uh, next 36 hours. Again, about two in the morning here, you start seeing redevelopment, just showing you one predictor of several. Then by about five, six in the morning, going to get a pretty big line going there for the uh, southern part of the viewing area. I don't think Toledo will miss out entirely. Notice those temperatures as we get up there towards uh, the mid to upper 80s. That's still going to provide enough fuel for tomorrow. And you notice by about uh, five, six o'clock as well, we have another round. So we are banking on some stronger storms more for tomorrow afternoon and evening, at least here in Toledo. Main risk for any of these storms is certainly going to be high wind. Can't rule out some hail and we were even seeing some rotation in some earlier cells, so I'm not ruling out any isolated tornadoes at that. We'll give you more detailed breakdown coming up later in the broadcast. Okay, Dan, thank you. The new fire department headquarters in Perrysburg has been open for a few months now, but today the community finally got a sneak peek inside. We were there when the building first opened back in January. The department says they're excited to have the new facility, but without the community, it wouldn't be possible. The open house included the dedication of a revamped fire safety trailer and a demonstration of residential sprinkler systems. Taking back your health, that's the purpose of this special event in Toledo. The National African American Male Wellness Walk encourages men to stay active and know their numbers. The walk offers free health screenings to help raise awareness for preventable health diseases. It'll happen this morning at Warren AME Church on Collingwood. Every time we usually screen at least about 100 people, we want more. Uh, we offer well over 10 screenings, so we want people to come out uh, get as many of the health screenings as they would like, or all of them preferably, and then they get a chance to talk to a doctor about their screening results. The event also included a 5K walk and run. Locally, this is the seventh year of the African American Male Wellness Walk. The Toledo Museum of Art hosted a free art making open house earlier today where adults and children had the opportunity to try their hand at a variety of projects using clay, paint, and printmaking materials. In addition to the hands-on activities, instructors answered questions and provided gallery tours. There was even a glass flame working demonstration, one of the many art classes offered this fall. The Art Museum sent us a few clips you can see here at today's event. No one's too old for art classes. We have classes for all ages and all skill levels. If you're looking for anything from drawing, painting, to glass making, we have it for you. The open house was part of the museum's effort to share the many art class opportunities that are available throughout the year. To learn more about scholarship opportunities or to register for fall art classes, check out the link on our page, 13abc.com. Two weeks removed from the mass shootings in El Paso and Dayton, and just days after six Philadelphia police officers were wounded in a fight with a suspect. The debate intensifies over stricter gun control measures. Tomorrow on Conklin and Company, a local lawman says there's no debating the need for more people to report suspicious activity, whether it be something heard or an online post. Ron Craig is the community police officer in Lake Township, and he says the public cannot afford to be shy about speaking out. How can you differentiate between somebody who's serious, somebody who has mental illness, somebody who is just ranting, just well, going off? Most people are not able to make that judgment. Right. So if they call us, that'll be our job to make that judgment about whether it's a meaningless rant or this is somebody seriously, you know, entertaining the possibility of doing this. See something, say something on Conklin and Company. Plus, 5th District Congressman Bob Lattice stance on the push for more restrictive background checks and, quote, red flag laws. Conklin and Company airs Sunday morning at 11 right here on 13 ABC. Dozens feared dead and many others injured after a suicide bomber attacked a wedding in the Afghanistan capital. Here's ABC's Elizabeth Herr with the details. 
New video capturing the moments after a suicide bomb blast ripped through a wedding party on a busy Saturday night in Kabul, Afghanistan. More than 1,000 guests had been invited to the wedding, dozens reportedly killed and many others injured. Ahmad Omid, a relative of the groom, took his uncle and cousin to the hospital. There are so many dead and wounded, he says. His father and uncle stayed behind to identify other victims. The injured transported to local hospitals. It happened near the stage, this witness says. Children and all of the people who were there were killed. The Dubai City Wedding Hall sits in a part of the city that many in the minority Shiite Hazara community call home. Both the Taliban and a local affiliate of the Islamic State have carried out attacks in the city. The latest blast coming just 10 days after a Taliban car bomb aimed at Afghan security forces detonated on the same road, killing 14 people and wounding 145 others, most of them women, children, and other civilians. Elizabeth Herr, ABC News, New York. The final victim of that deadly Walmart shooting rampage two weeks ago has been laid to rest. Thousands of community members coming out to pay their respects to Marjorie Record after her husband invited anyone to attend. She's loving my life. It's a, it's a feeling that's out of this world. I mean, you, you can't explain it. I, that, that ain't just the past, it's all over the world. Hundreds of strangers paid their respects when they heard the funeral was open to anyone who wanted to come. Marjorie Record was the last of the 22 victims to be laid to rest. New at 11, here's a look ahead at what's in tomorrow's edition of The Blade. The scene from the 7th annual African American Male Wellness Walk, how it impacts the community. And rainbow colors were visible as far as the eye could see in downtown Toledo on Saturday, a full wrap-up of the weekend. You can read more of these stories and others on The Blade's new slide app. Now let's go to Dan Smith with your 13-hour forecast. He's live in the First Warning Weather Center. Dan. Well, I'll be honest, I'm having a bit of trust issues with the models as of late. For one thing, check out the icons at the bottom of the screen here. You see a lot more sunshine than uh, would typically let on. Now, further on, 6, 7, 8 in the morning, you see some rumbles of thunder here, some lightning popping off. That, I do think, is going to happen. So far, it's ducking just a little bit further south of Toledo, essentially along and south of US 6, this latest round of showers and storms. I wouldn't put too much stock into that, given how uh, flip-flopping these have been recently. But over towards 5, 6 o'clock, clock in the evening. I'm thinking with enough heat, which it certainly looks like we're going to get and enough humidity, which we already have in place. We're going to get another round of the showers and storms and some of them still could be on the stronger side. Again, don't discount any of the storm threats as we go on through, let alone for the next several hours. Keep your phones charged, keep them on overnight and have at least two ways to get that severe weather info just in case. We're still eyeing the primary threat being some high winds, can't even rule out some isolated tornadoes, especially given uh, earlier we're even seeing some signs of rotation in some non-severe cells. We'll give you a further detailed breakdown, hour-by-hour hour predictor, and more coming up after the break. Well, the 10th annual Toledo Pride event continued today with a parade. It's Northwest Ohio's largest and most recognized event for the LGBTQ plus community. The LGBTQ plus crowd and supporters set to break the event record with a predicted 20,000 Pride goers. It's really great for Toledo, not being a huge city to have such a successful event. We have about 25,000 people come to the event, so it'll be a pretty really good time. The event continues tomorrow with the big Rainbow Brunch Crawl. It's set to start at 2 p.m. on Adams Street. A new holistic green space, and it's here in Toledo. Today, community members celebrated the opening of a garden at Tatum Park. It was constructed by the Sonia Organics team, who hopes it will help community members learn how to harvest foods. We were wanting to make this area beautiful, not just beautiful, but we want to be able to instruct our community how to be self-reliant. It's located minutes away from downtown Toledo, right next to the historic Tatum House. The group hopes to add a youth farmer's market there, too. The former Toys R Us on Monroe Street in Toledo will soon be a Burlington Coat factory. Here's a look at what the storefront looks like right now. The company website estimates the store will be open in the fall of this year. And if you're looking for a job, this new location of Burlington Coat Factory is hiring.
Heads up rib lovers. The rib off continues all weekend. We'll wrap up tonight's fun and give you a look ahead on what's to come tomorrow coming up. And also next on Action News, the Birmingham Festival is back. We'll tell you all you need to know about the celebrations this year. Action News is back in just 35 seconds. Don't miss your golden opportunity to experience our most advanced safety technology on a full line of vehicles. Now at the Lexus Golden Opportunity Sales Event. Lease the 2019 ES350 for $379 a month for 36 months and we'll make your first month's payment. Experience amazing. It's car buying season at Nissan's Bottom Line Model Year End Event. Get the bottom line on the last of our 2019s. Like the all-wheel drive Altima. Get 0% financing for up to 36 months on Nissan Altima. ABC first warning weather with meteorologist Dan Smith. Well, we had those few rounds of showers and storms earlier this afternoon and earlier this evening. Threatened to put a damper on uh, Pride Fest downtown, but you can see it right now. Lots of bright lights and uh, still plenty of people enjoying the stage there. It looks like a different stage uh, temporary setup. You normally have the uh, Prometica one just a little bit north of there, a little bit uh, ahead of it, at least on our screen. Outside right now, we are looking at some pretty good conditions. 74 degrees, but that humidity it's pretty humid out there, 85 percent. So uh, a lot of the concert goers probably feeling it certainly tonight in light of especially what had already developed and moved through. We've had plenty of rainfall in a few spots. Some, ple some people have been completely dry over the last 48 hours, but a lot of us still have been rather inundated. It's, uh, we have some brown grass in a few places, so it might be good news for at least a few of us. Doppler radar showing a lot of this up in lower Michigan here, uh, just stretching all the way across the mitt. Not so much here in Northwest Ohio at present, but we are banking on more development overnight past about two in the morning, and that's where we're really seeing potential for some extra showers and storms, not to mention tomorrow afternoon. We'll give you more details on that in a second. 86 degrees for today's high, 69 for the low, so above average in both of those respects. Only about a tenth of an inch officially picked up out at the airport. Mind you, that's out in Swanton uh, here in Toledo. I'd reckon uh, probably at least a quarter inch uh, on average here on the month. Two and a quarter inches so far. We're almost break broken the 30 inch mark for the year and we are well above average at this point. I want to say at least six or seven inches at this uh, uh, mark here. Predictor showing by about two in the uh, evening here, two in the morning, I should say. Monroe County, just north of the state line here, could be getting at least a bit of it. You notice it really starting to blow up here as we approach sunrise about five, six in the morning, really from BG South here to Lima, uh, picking up on a pretty intense line. High winds do remain the primary threat with any of these showers and storms that do develop. We go all the way through until tomorrow afternoon. We generate some more heat, combine it with the humidity, and you've got another line coming through. So this showing 87. I've got a little closer to 89 for tomorrow's high. And there's your other line. I uh, was even seeing some models suggesting yet another line coming after that. I'm thinking a lot of the energy is going to be sapped ahead of it. So you still want to be on the lookout for the severe weather threat. Keep your phones charged and handy overnight as well. Those high winds are going to be your main threat too. Certainly you could have a few rumbles of thunder with this. What's interesting is we actually have maybe about half of our average lightning in Lucas County for the year so far. And you think with all these storms that we'd had, especially that wet spring, we might get a little bit more of it. Not so much. Uh, Ross Ellett did the calculation on that one. Uh, heavy rain still possible, of course, with this. And yes, we do have that low chance of tornadoes as well you know, because you have that wind shear, that twisting and turning in the atmosphere still uh, very much present. We were even seeing some signs of rotation earlier this afternoon. As for the dew point, the next several days, that humidity is just going to stay with us through that first half of the week. Not going to feel too comfortable. Ought to feel closer to 95 in some cases. 70 degrees for tonight. Again, more storms do remain possible, mostly along and south of US 6. I wouldn't put Toledo out of the uh, running here, though. 89 for tomorrow's high. Winds could certainly be gusting higher in storms, and uh, again, some could be on the stronger side. Your first warning extended forecast Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Still eyeing the chance for some of these showers and storms to redevelop. It's uh, again banking on the heat, humidity, and what have you. Wednesday onwards, that's when we start to see a real noticeable change getting down to those uh, upper 70s. It'll feel really nice to take us out of the week. Still have to uh, get through this first half of the next week. 
All right, Dan, so with rain today, and it looks like there's going to be more coming, are we looking at flooding? Potentially. Some isolated uh, pockets here, some street flooding. Uh, we've even seen some over the last 48 hours uh, here in Toledo. Uh, it's going to be pretty isolated and moving fairly quickly at this point. If it parks over you, it just would happen to train over you, and uh, at this point, most of the wind would blow it out anyway. All right, Dan, thanks. Of course, we'll keep tracking that. Well, ribs galore. Today was day two of the Blades 36th annual Northwest Ohio Rib Off at the Lucas County Fairgrounds. The event kicked off yesterday and runs through tomorrow. The gates open each day at noon. Tonight, 80s rock legend Night Ranger took the stage, and tomorrow, Hotel California will play. Sunday fun day. Tomorrow is family day, which means free admission, kids inflatables, and face painting. Also happening this weekend, the 45th annual Birmingham Ethnic Festival. The event kicked off just a few hours ago with the iconic Waiters Race. Festival goers can enjoy live music, popular Hungarian foods, and crafts that are available for purchase. It's all happening on Consol Street and runs through tomorrow at 9 p.m. Straight ahead, two former Toledo receivers reunite on a football field in western Pennsylvania. Plus, no Baker, no problem for the Browns in Indianapolis. First, the winning lottery numbers from your official lottery station, 13 ABC. Alexa, what's the news? Here's your flash briefing from 13 ABC. Download the app, select flash briefing, and search for 13 ABC. Get local news in a flash, anytime, anywhere, with 13 ABC and your Amazon Echo. When a bear is chasing you, you take off faster than a toupee in a fan factory. Move that fast to the Ford Hurry Up and Save sales event, where for the first time ever, get 20% estimated savings on select Ford SUVs. Plus, earn complimentary maintenance through Ford Pass Rewards. Word to the wise, don't get left behind, because missing this deal on the SUV's number one in brand loyalty will come back to bite you. Now get zero for 60 financing, plus 5,550 cash back on edge, or returning lessees lease for just 179. This is Wendy's Bacon Fest. And this is the all-new bacon jalapeno cheeseburger. That bacon sizzles. I'll have what she's had. No one does bacon like Wendy's. So get to Wendy's Bacon Fest now. Bacon. <sighs> really? It's car buying season at Nissan's Bottom Line Model Year End Event. Save big on the last of our 2019s, like the Tech Advanced Rogue. Get a low 209 per month lease on the 2019 Rogue. For over 30 years, Denver Mattress has been crafting factory direct mattresses with innovative design and unrivaled quality. Improving the sleeping lives of millions of people one night at a time. And during the anniversary sale, save up to $700 on Tempur-Pedic adjustable mattress sets and get a free $300 Furniture Row gift certificate. For a better tomorrow tonight, check out the Summit Queen, only $199.99. Plus, four years, no interest financing. Denver Mattress, the easiest way to get the right mattress. Doing it different, doing it right. Charlie's Dodge Chrysler Jeep Ram, your hometown dealer, will help you choose the vehicle that fits your lifestyle. During the summer of Jeep, Charlie's is leasing the 2019 Jeep Compass Limited 4x4 for $179 per month. Charlie's Dodge Chrysler Jeep Ram, on the corner of Illinois and Ford Mommy or charliesdodge.com. Doing it different, doing it right. The 13 ABC Action News I-Team and the award-winning journalists uncovering the facts and asking tough questions to get you the answers you need. The I-Team gets answers. 13 ABC Action News. Now, 13 ABC Action Sports with PCSN. Here's Joe Nugent. Teammates a year ago, but head-to-head -head now, former Toledo receivers Cody Thompson and Deontay Johnson reunite in western Pennsylvania in Pittsburgh. Heinz Field, Steelers, and the Chiefs. Here we go. Home team on the move. Mason Rudolph underneath to Deontay. He goes for eight yards, and that leads to a Steelers touchdown. Cody also grabs a ball right here. It was productive for both Rockets. Pittsburgh leads the game right now 17-7 late in the fourth quarter. 
Browns, Colts, no Baker Mayfield, Odell Beckham, Nick Chubb, or Jarvis Landry. Kareem Hunt, though, does carry the ball twice. Garrett Gilbert starts, plays well, completing 13 of 19 for two touchdowns. The Browns win 21-18. Hard to draw any conclusions with so many key players on the bench, but uh, hey, a win's a win. Also, uh, Lions, by the way, in a late one right now. They're uh, uh, trailing 27-23 down in Houston. College football. Bowling Green has a uh, opener coming up on a Thursday night against Morgan State. Scrimmage today, and what's this, a, a yellow uniform? Like, that doesn't really make sense down in Bowling Green, but it's, it's actually a punishment. Yellow, like the gold for the Toledo Rockets. We had a couple guys that got out of them today, which was great. They played really hard, but we got to get to the point where you're not using these little tactics to, to get people to play hard. And it's, uh, we want to uh, eventually never have to do that, but we've been so up and down with consistency of how to play that we decided as coaches that we needed to try to do something a little bit unique and a little bit different. Yes, the yellow jerseys represents the uh, Toledo team up north, um, so you definitely do not want to be wearing that jersey at practice. Uh, it's been a long time since BG's beat the uh, Rockets. Patrick Henry opens up what could be a very special year in 13 days. The Patriots will be on the road at Lake, and it will start Garrett Schwiebert's senior season. The six feet seven inch lineman committed to Toledo this offseason, and he is a three star recruit. Right off the bat, when I got there, they just seemed like a big family. Everyone was just super welcoming and stuff, and it was where I felt most comfortable, and it just felt like home. It was super close to home, so I knew that people will be able to come up and watch me once I get my chance to play, and I could come back home if I ever need to or want to, so it was just a great fit. Boy, he's going to open up some holes this fall. All right, still to come, Devin Vargas is back, plus a potential underdog story for the ages at Thunder Valley. Cremation, peace of mind. These two things should always go together. At Walker, we make sure they do. Unlike other funeral homes, your loved one never leaves our care. We are the only funeral home to operate our own crematory, so we can guarantee supervised, one at a time, cremations. That's the peace of mind you can't get anywhere else. If you're looking for the perfect trip that allows you to spend quality time with the family, then discover the great outdoors on an Alabama Black Belt adventure. Create unforgettable memories while hunting, fishing, or biking and hiking. Or play the Robert Trent Jones Golf Trail, now celebrating 25 years. And while you're here, enjoy the flavors of the Black Belt. Book your adventure at our lodges or stay in the Renaissance Montgomery Hotel and Spa. Start planning an Alabama Black Belt adventure today. My rank for the military is retired sergeant major. I was eating some food and a tooth had fell out from my dentures. As a young soldier, you're looking up to me, and if your teeth are hurting, they see it. I called Aspen Dental, and I didn't have to wait. They had that genuine concern for you, which ultimately was going to make me feel more confident about myself and in front of soldiers. At Aspen Dental, we're all about yes. Like, yes, we repair and reline dentures while you wait. Yes, right now, repairs start at $49. And yes, we'll give you a smile worthy of you and your troops. Call now at 1-800-ASPEN-DENTAL. Here's your Buick, sir. Actually, that's my Buick. Your Buick doesn't have a roof rack. This is my Buick. How are we going to fit in your mom's Buick? Easy. I like that new Buick. Me too. I was actually talking about that Buick. I knew that. Did you? Buick's fresh new lineup is full of surprises. Now pay no interest for 72 months on most 2019 Buick Encore models. Plus get 1,000 down payment assistance when you finance through GM Financial. The party is still going strong at Firekeeper's 10th anniversary celebration with a share of over one million in cars, cash, and prizes. Every Friday and Saturday, we're giving away a 2020 Ford Explorer and a share of 400,000 in Red Hot credits. Plus, on August 31st, you could win the grand prize, an Explorer ST. And every Wednesday, all Red Hot Rewards Club members get a free swipe for a guaranteed prize. Visit firekeeperscasino.com. 13 ABC Action Sports, sponsored by Marco's Pizza. It's funny how it works out like this. A baseball team scores 19 runs in a game, and you're thinking the whole time, like, boy, can't you just save a couple for tomorrow or the next day? Well, the Indians had 19 on Thursday, and sure enough, they could use a couple of them today in the Bronx against the Yankees. Eighth inning, the Indians cut it to a one-run game off a wild pitch. Yasiel Puig scores. 
and a chance to add on, but Kevin Plowicki grounds into a double play that ends the inning, and the Yankees win it by just one run, six to five. Tigers taking on the Rays, a game that just would not end, but it finally does happen in the 13th inning. Michael Brousseau is the last man off the Tampa Bay bench. The missing piece, a walk-off shot to the gap. It is the first, last, and only run of the game. Rays take it 1-0. Mudheads over New England this weekend. The Sluggers lead the way. A Christian Stewart RBI single. Willie Castro and Frank Schwindel also hit home runs. Toledo wins the game 5-1. NASCAR in Thunder Valley, 127 to go. Ryan Blaney's car just won't turn here. A tire down, that triggers a five-car wreck, including Jimmy Johnson, who's fighting to make the playoffs. For a big part of the final 100 laps, Matt DiBenedetto in the 95 leads. It's a team that does not have the same resources as the cars they race up front. With 11 to go, Denny Hamlin finally slides by and he wins at Bristol. The 95 finishes second. Boy, what a, a great night for that team. The top 70 players in the PGA are in Chicago this weekend with the top 30 advancing to the Tour Championship coming up next weekend. Third round here of the BMW Championship. A late start with uh, storms near Medina. Justin Thomas for birdie at number one. He starts his round with five straight of them. Shoots a 31 on the front. And then on the back, he opens it up with an eagle at number 10. And here's why. From 262 yards out, he leaves himself just a couple feet left. JT shatters the course record with a 61, and he leads by a half dozen strokes. We just talked about two uh, NFL games uh, a few minutes ago. They both went final. The Steelers did win 17-7 against the Chiefs, and the Lions lose by a touchdown down in Houston. I was going to say, I mean, we've been talking a lot about golf the last couple of weeks, yes. but we've got to be getting close to high school football. Uh, yes, yes. The first game will actually be on a Thursday night, only 12 days away. All right, well, your wake-up weather forecast right around the corner. Here's a live look from our Prometica Tower 13 ABC Action Cam. Dan's right back with what you can expect tomorrow morning. Coming up tonight on 13 ABC. Sponsored by Witzler Shank Trilby, your neighborhood funeral and cremation services. It's back to school time, and at Kroger, we've got more ways to save, like great sales on their favorites, digital coupons, and fuel points, too. So saving is easy. It's just the, way that we do. the rule of three states, things that come in threes are inherently more appealing. We couldn't agree more. Three SUVs. One GMC. Get this low mileage lease on this 2019 GMC Acadia SLE One for around $259 per month. Plus, current eligible non-GM lessees can get $2,000 additional lease cash. We are professional grade GMC. Hi, I'm Jeff Saylor with the Toledo Zoo, and this is my friend Emerson, the Galapagos tortoise. Here at the zoo, our mission is inspiring others to join us and care for wildlife and wild places. Emerson is an amazing ambassador for that mission. He's been in this country since the 1920s and inspired millions of children and adults about the issues facing wildlife. And while the Galapagos tortoise is doing much better in the wild today than it was years ago, Emerson is a great ambassador for the crises that are affecting other species and helping us achieve our mission worldwide. It's car buying season at Nissan's Bottom Line Model Year End Event. Save big on the last of our 2019s, like the Tech Advanced Rogue. Get a low 209 per month lease on the 2019 Rogue. My choice, the nation's premier gaming loyalty program, is now at four exciting Hollywood locations. So you can play local or at over 35 amazing My Choice destinations across the country. And earn rewards like trips to thrilling Las Vegas or a Mercedes-Benz lease. Start earning today. New members sign up for a My Choice Rewards card and get rolling with up to $500 on us at Hollywood, Toledo, Columbus, Dayton, and Mahoning Valley. All right, Dan, so what's the latest with the storms tonight, and how about that weather tomorrow? Uh, for tonight, it's looking like it's staying a little bit further south now. You can see Predictor, though,
Those first little storms around 2, 3 in the morning start getting a little bit further into Toledo. This is the real round here. 5, 6 in the morning starts really popping off. We have a little bit of a gap here ought to allow for enough daytime heating to help generate that next round that's coming in on uh, Sunday for tomorrow evening. So extended forecast not uh, showing the greatest first half of next week if that will actually pop up here. But uh, <laughs> in any case, uh, it's going to be very warm and humid and a uh, nice second half of the week. Okay, and Joe, what's going on in sports? Big one for the Indians tomorrow in New York. They need to find a way to split with the Yankees. Okay, thank you. Well, be sure to be up to the minute the minute you're up and join third. Don't miss your golden opportunity to experience thrilling performance. Now at the Lexus Golden Opportunity Sales Event. Lease the 2019 IS300 all-wheel drive for $379 a month for 36 months. Experience amazing at your Lexus dealer. From your home, on the go, or wherever you are, watch complete newscasts as they happen live online. 13 ABC Action News, streaming live at 13abc.com. Sponsored by Toledo Memorial Park, celebrating the beauty of life. Hard to believe it's been 30 years since my family moved to Toledo. The city's now more livable, more walkable, and more runnable. One of the more recent discoveries I've found is right here on the banks of the Maumee River. It's the Middle Grounds Metro Park, an oasis right here in the city. All the beauty and the wildlife makes it seem like we're miles away. In reality, we're right here at home. Your experience, your story, your Toledo Me. It's car buying season at Nissan's Bottom Line Model Year End Event. Get the bottom line on the last of our 2019s. Like the all-wheel drive Altima. Get 0% financing for up to 36 months on Nissan Altima. If you're looking for the perfect trip that allows you to spend quality time with the family, then discover the great outdoors on an Alabama Black Belt adventure. Create unforgettable memories while hunting, canoeing, camping, and more. Or challenge yourself on Robert Trent Jones Golf Trail, now celebrating 25 years. And while you're here, enjoy a deep south dining experience. Book your adventure in one of our members' lodges or stay at the Renaissance Montgomery Hotel and Spa. Start planning an Alabama Black Belt adventure today. Thanks to you, we stopped the With your help, we were proud to supply local children with brand new school supplies as they prepare for the upcoming year. From all of us at 13 ABC, we thank you for... Possibly the worst coffee I've ever tasted. It's actually kind of fascinating. It tastes like a. Mm. It tastes like a monkey beating battery acid. Try some. Don't you have a book coming out today or something? Yeah, so. So you are watching me do paperwork. It's creepy. Did you have somewhere else to be? I like it here. Oh my gosh, I get it. You're hiding. Your book is coming out today, and you are hiding. No, hiding would be building a fortress out of my comforter and then downing a fifth of scotch, but apparently that's considered unhealthy. I thought that you don't care what people think. I don't. Watch. Beckett. Yeah, right, on my way. Dead body? Yes. I set it up. This the guy? You heard, huh? Oh, everyone's heard. You really base your next character on Detective Beckett? Every artist needs a muse. <laughs> Call me a muse again, and I will break both your legs. Okay? Okay. Detective Beckett. Jack Lifford and Hall Morris. While moving in, they uh, see a rolled up rug sticking out of a dumpster. They figure it's a lucky day. They bring it home only to find there's a prize inside. Dead guy in a rug. Naturally, we thought of you. Yeah. 
38 caliber, close range. Killed him instantly. You got an ID? No, nah, pockets were empty. No wallet, no keys, no jewelry. We figure a robbery.